Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I was not really thinking of doing this video until someone commented on one of my previous videos to do a back to school content like covering the school books which might be helpful for many who doesn't know. I can't remember who said that. Anyway, thanks for the idea and here's a video on some organization for my kids room. Their books didn't have a proper place to put in and I wanted their room to look neat always. Even if there's a little mess, they could clean it up easily themselves. So, hope you would like this video. Keep watching. The first thing I wanted is to declutter their toys. Arman has got the fun in playing even with the broken ones. So for that reason, I never threw any toys. But that only cluttered and piled up their toys drawer. Now before asking which one they wanted and which one to throw, I did a small DIY in their drawer. Divided into 4 sections with this cardboard. That's my glue gun, a bigger size that I recently bought. Adding onto the corners so that they stay in place. Now you can see all these broken ones. I asked them to select what they really wanted and then divide. Like small cars into one, some creatures into another and so on. Bigger size toys were kept in another drawer and that was done. In the topmost drawer I used to keep storybooks and some other essentials like box of pencils, erasers and so on and this happens later. It's a complete mess inside. I took out everything and cleaned up the drawer. For the storybooks and extra books a shelf was bought later. So in this I kept pencils, this tiny bucket I got from IKEA, extra erasers, I keep all the important notices and schedules that they get from school onto this wall area and this was last year so taking everything out. This is another area in their cabinet all messed up, taking everything out. I don't like to throw away their craft works done at school that they bring home, I used to stick on the inside of their wardrobe inside or outside it anyway looked very untidy so i'm treasuring everything into this small bucket and keeping it all together this way i could keep it safe and tidy arman's uniforms have changed so i'm giving the ones in good conditions to charity now for giving a small organization shopping was needed we have these fire real shops where we could get everything needed for a small amount one such is Albasam, I guess the best fire rail shop in Riyadh. It's a bit far from where we stay so I don't shop every time from there. Every day in the morning hustle their socks would be missing its pair. So organizing their undergarments and socks was much needed. I bought these baskets to arrange them. Now this divider I got from IKEA some time back using it now for this. It actually fits perfectly in a rectangular basket. Mine was not a perfect rectangle shape but anyway managed. Dividing into three parts, the bigger one for their undergarments, the other two for white and color socks. Always place the socks one inside the other, not completely and then it would be together so no missing. It's really easy this way. You 
uniform shopping. IKEA is my all time favorite. Though you don't purchase anything, it's always a pleasure to the eyes to see the arrangements. We had our breakfast and then shopped. Stationary shopping. Before the rearrangements, this is the room, all a mess. Someone had asked to show the sand art we got from the camel festival and here it is. I asked the kids to do some cleaning that they could like keeping the toys back in place and some other. I took out almost everything outside the room. Checking out the measurements, when I'm actually confused with the arrangements or not sure where to keep the stuffs, I just make a rough drawing. I don't do this always but this room I was not sure if I could do the way I wanted. The position wasn't working, so a small change.
though it was already cleaned the change in position carried the dust I love fitting the furniture that we get from IKEA. We get the guidebook along so it's easy. And that's done. I wanted it to get fixed on the wall horizontally, so putting on the brackets, but later had to change and put it vertically. This was the old rug in their room adding some baking soda and few drops of essential oil and then kept it inside. And this is the old rug we had in our living room I'm using it here. So that's how it's kept now the arrangements. Reading books placed here. I keep their report cards separately in a file and even some certificates. I don't know if anyone does this but just for a memory I keep their final exam answer sheets. I used to keep all before but that would only clutter and pile up. So just final sheets are kept. I remember my mother doing this so a habit transferred. Not all notices are stuck on the wall, schedules, timetables and some similar important ones. Time for covering books. I use a clear adhesive cover and all the brown cover with a given list for both of them separating the books. I take out the plastic cover that comes along because it may be good at the beginning but later it goes really bad before covering sticking the name label Place the book in a way that the cover isn't wasted Fold in half Now mark these points Give cuts as shown. Remove from one side as shown. I place an extra sheet before sticking. Use a scale to push so that there's no bubble.
Make sure there's a dustbin next to you, otherwise the table will be untidy. For easy way, just cut all the papers needed and start sticking. This is easy only if the books are of same size. I do this way for notebooks. You can also do without marking. Fold half and remove a little from one side. Place the book in the center, then you can give the cuts. And that's done. On the first day of school, I keep it all ready for them. Then the rest, they do it on their own. Now on the table I kept this box where there's easy access to some school needs like few pencils, colors and so on. This basket again from Fire Real Shop, putting all the rolls in it. Some notebooks from previous year, the ones that has got enough blank pages, I keep them for giving practice at home. Some craft supplies in this basket. And that completes a simple arrangement. The small clock was actually gifted, though it's Hello Kitty. I put it in their room. And that ends for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all your support and love. See you soon with another one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.